Georgia man is facing multiple murder charges in a crime spree which stretched 100 miles across Alabama. WVTM 13's John Papke tracks the string of crimes from the plains to the magic city. Hours after police believe Derek Hightower and Contrice Hill killed Nancy Nash Friday in Auburn, investigators found Willie and Barbara Tidwell murdered about 25 minutes up Highway 280 in Dadeville. When you have something like this, you know, especially in a small town like the people, they were, you know, your, just your normal small town people. I mean, they, they, were, they were good people. Chief Floyd says Willie Tidwell is a former Dadeville police officer, and he believes the couple's killing is linked to the Auburn case. He has not been charged. Okay. Uh, but uh, we, we, we will be able to connect them. A few hours later Friday morning, Shelby County investigators say Hightower robbed three people at Chelsea's Ortho Sports Urgent Care. Then before dawn on Saturday, the search for Nash's killer shifted to the Birmingham area. Police here received information that her truck stolen from the crime scene in Auburn was spotted at this USA Economy Lodge on Crestwood Boulevard. Police later got into a shootout with a man trying to leave the area. The suspect got away. Police say the car he was driving was stolen from this nearby home. Inside, they found Antoine Harris shot to death. After a day-long manhunt, Birmingham police arrested Derek Hightower and have now charged him with Harris's death. When you look at the magnitude uh, of a crime spree like this and just how many people that it affects, it really gives you the drive to make sure that you do your job and do it correctly so that you can get a conviction in these cases. Chief Floyd hopes to announce charges in his case on Tuesday. John Papke, WVTM 13.